Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to look at a new product I bought recently, which is this Dutch corner house from Diodump in 135th scale. This is a ceramic casted house, and I haven't actually looked inside the box yet, so let's see what's inside. So the whole thing is really well packaged. All the individual pieces are wrapped in bubble wrap, which is really useful because obviously they're ceramic, so they're a little bit fragile. Okay, so I've unwrapped all the pieces of the kit, and here they are. We've got the front main door part and the roof to go with it on top. Then this sort of a slightly taller kind of tower section, a roof to go with it. And then just this sort of long thin section which joins the two. So I'm going to try to show you how these parts should look without dropping them and breaking them on my desk. So this represents the front of the house, like so. And that long thin section there joins the two. And the roof goes on top. And that final roof section goes on top of the, the taller part of the building. That's quite a nice looking building that. So if we take a close up look at some of the parts, starting with the, uh, you can see there's really, really good detail here. Um, nice little sort of carving at the top of the roof there. Good brick texture pattern. Really nice texture and definition on the outside part of the roof and really, really nice brick pattern as well. There is a small little blemish there in that brick pattern, but that will sand out really easily. And the roof tiles look really nice as well good amount of detail. I can see them taking washes and paint really well. And even nice detail on the top tiles there as they join. So the front section has a good amount of detail. Got the main door here with good definition. And if you look at the scale, this is a 135th scale figure, and that door is a really, really good match for that scale. Uh, unlike things like the mini art um, buildings, which tend to be a little bit big, this is a perfect match for the scale. There's really nice texture on the concrete, a few little sort of cracks down there, like moulded in cracks to add detail. And then the brickwork itself has a slightly different texture to the concrete, which is good to see. And then there's just small little details like this. Um, sort of unusual brick pattern at the top which just adds a bit more realism. There's nothing on the back of these pieces, not even a, a sort of a back of the front door. That's absolutely fine. In fact the instructions recommend that once you've built this you basically just block off the back of the building. You paint the inside black and block off the back. Looking at the taller part of the front, again good detail on the front, no detail on the back, but that's not a problem. And again you can see the windowsill and everything is really, really well cast. And then this final section here only has detail on the top part of it. That's because the lower half will be hidden inside the building. But you can see that detail lines up perfectly with the other piece. And this is the main roof section. You can see there's a good level of detail on that. You can see the tiles look really nice, very well defined, 
and there's even this strip of uh, sort of like lead uh, joining on the left hand side which is ever so slightly raised from the uh, tiles as it should be that's going to paint nicely and then there's a bag of extra bits and pieces in the kit as well this sort of square piece of styrene is I think for making the window frames I need to read the instructions more but I think that's what it's for and then there's a resin piece as well the rest of the, the kit is ceramic but this is resin and this is the gutter so just need to cut off the excess piece of resin there and keep the pad on the bottom There's also in this bag, if I can get them out, a few extra bits of bobs. So the kit includes these two pieces uh, to act as curtains. And they've got a nice sort of wavy texture to them. There's two in that green pattern and then two more in this kind of yellow pattern. You can imagine how these might look if they're just behind the windows like that. And of course that's quite pragmatic as well because it means that you don't have to paint the inside of the building um, because you can't see through the windows because of the curtains. There's also this set of street signs in Dutch and uh, numbers as well. And you also get three pieces of clear um, acetate to act as the windows. And finally, a nice little addition, a little bit unusual, is these two pieces of acetate to act as stained glass windows. So that's a really nice idea, and it will just add a little bit more detail, a little bit more realism to the kit. I think it's a nice little inclusion. And you can see here above the front door, that's where the window will go, and that looks really good. The kit also includes instructions, of course. They're not visual instructions, they're purely written, but they do tell you how to deal with all aspects of the kit. So there's a section here on sanding the plaster, there's a section on um, making any corrections if there's small imperfections, it recommends different types of glue to use, uh, and so on and so forth. So although they're short, the instructions are pretty comprehensive, and you, you wouldn't need any more than this to build the kit. Okay, so that was a quick overview of the building from Diodump. This is what it should look like when it's built and painted. These images are from Diodump's website. Diodump have a really wide range of materials on their website, from buildings like this, to diorama accessories, to um, ground cover and so on. So I definitely recommend you check out their site if you're interested in that kind of thing. I'm really looking forward to building this. I'm going to use this in a diorama with my Tamiya Achilles, which I've built and almost finished painting, so the the video for that should be up fairly soon. Uh, I'll put a link in the top right corner when it is. Or you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when I upload it. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see notifications about future videos, then please remember to subscribe.